One, two. Ah, that is me counting my hair. Do you know how many hairs you have on your head? If you don't, subscribe and keep watching this video so that I can tell you more. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma and today we are back with another YouTube video about hair. So we are going to wash my hair. I have had this mini braids for about three weeks and I've uh, been moisturizing them, not religiously, but well, I try. So I've started by pre pooing with coconut oil, which did not work since I didn't have enough coconut oil. So I, I switched to apple cider vinegar. I don't know who does that, who pre -poos with vinegar. Anyway, I did it so. I pre-pulled and then sat under a shower cap for 15 minutes as I'm going to show you. So this is apple cider vinegar with mother and raw. Yeah, that thing that I didn't read well. So benefits of pre -pooing. Actually, you can benefit a lot by including a pre stage. In your wash day routine, pre pooing, especially with apple cider vinegar, helps in with irritate, irritating skull conditions like you, your skull itches a lot and things like that. It also removes product buildup, adds shine, and restores the pH of the hair. It also destroys yeast with its anti-inflammatory properties that uh, cause dandruffs and dry scalp and itchy scalp. Yeah. So there I'm massaging the apple cider vinegar that I diluted with a little bit of water. Actually, it was a, let's say, a ratio of one to three of... Uh, the mixture and then I massaged my scalp a little and then put on my shower cap fifteen minutes and thirty eight seconds. So I'm going to show you how my ends look before we wash it out and uh, do something else so that's how they look I showed you the previous ends before I did anything to my hair showing you the hair as it looks as we go along the shine the ends everything so that we can see if anything changes as we wash we wash it so I shampooed this was my first attempt and believe me, I did several attempts. Continue watching for you to see how many attempts I, I attempted at shampooing. And um, comment down below if you think that I stripped off the natural oils of the hair or if I was justified by doing that at all. Well... As you can see, I was massaging my hair and I was feeling so... No words to explain. Shampooing has its own benefits. Yeah, there was no lather at all. Second attempt. <laughs> Courtesy to my second attempt, we are going to do some little mathematics so did you know that an adult human skull has an average area of 650 to 700 centimeter squared well also an adult human has approximately 100,000 to 5 to 150,000 hairs 
don't try counting yours you won't finish so keeping in mind these uh these values you should know how well you should wash your hair so please don't judge me for shampooing my hair the times that i did did you guess it right well still comment if you did so that is my third attempt and uh, this time i was very happy because the hair behaved so there are several advantages of shampooing your hair and i guess i'll have to do a whole video of that so subscribe for you not to miss the juicy and educative tips next in line is rice water <laughs> this is another video that you will have to tune in for so subscribe anyway i am doing this challenge rice water challenge for hair growth and hopefully if it pays off i'll update you let me loop you in on a secret that i've been keeping to myself that i really don't know if i should tell you but anyway i'm just gonna tell you i have had um those mini twists for three weeks as i told you and i'm planning a grand challenge i want to wear this mini twist for not less than wait for it wait for it <laughs> for not less than a year what yep i want to do a one year protective styling a whole lot of reasons why you should subscribe well there is a lot lined up and if you don't want to miss please subscribe please 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 do subscribe thank you thank you for subscribing welcome to the family <laughs> So the sprinkling didn't go that well to as you've seen. So I decided to pour it into my hair. Anyway, I wanted it to saturate very fast so that I can do away with it. It was getting late and I was tired, so anything to speed up the process. So I wore my shower cap and another one on top of it. And then a towel on top of it to, I don't know, tap in the heat. And then I let it sit for another one hour. You could just let it sit for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I just thought one hour would be best for me since I, have, I had had my hair out for long and not really well moisturized. I ended up leaving it for 1 hour 30 minutes because I had to cook and eat. Well, it seemed like a century later. I went ahead and uh, washed out the rice water and rinsed out the rice water from my hair and then went ahead to deep condition. And this time I used the TCB Naturals Deep Penetrating Treatment with Shea Butter and Honey. And they say it provides critical protection and repair. So I applied it all over my hair. Doing it section by section. Although I had braids on and it was really quick, really easy. I mean, I didn't do any detangling or anything i think this year i'm really going to enjoy my wash days well of course i'm going to do repairs to my braids by repairs i mean unraveling them and doing them again so so that i don't 
I don't look so rusty while I'm in my long-term protective style. So I went ahead and did my whole head. And um, I did leave it overnight under my my dryer. <laughs> By my dryer, I mean my towel and a bunch of other shower caps. So it really went well. And uh, this time, I liked how my hair felt when I was applying the deep conditioner. And the next morning when I took them out and washed them, my hair was really soft. I really enjoyed this washing day. Although it took me a lot of time. I mean, by those treatments that I did, rice water, pre pooing deep conditioning, it took a lot of time, but did my hair good so at this i'm showing you how far the ends have come they're looking pretty good i mean the frizziness at the at the end that was there in my first video in my first uh, few minutes of showing you before i did the wash i've really disappeared i don't know if that's the right word but they've gone missing i like this as i've said i let it sleep for mm, more, more than 12 hours under my shower caps and my towel you could ask me how i slept with a towel <laughs> that's a story for another day there you have the evidence of sleeping with a towel on your head all night long that's how it looks when i took it down I love deep conditioning so much for my hair and I also have a video on a, a deep conditioner that I did homemade DIY conditioner I'll link the video so that you can watch it if you have not so my ends were looking pretty well yeah I could eat ugali with those. <laughs> yes, I love them. I love how the deep conditioner turned out. And, um, well, deep conditioning is generally good for your hair and should be taken seriously during wash days. So I'll go right ahead and wash it off. And there goes my wash day. Oh, that patch there. I went to a salon and that woman chopped off my hair with scissors. My hair is squeaky clean now. So, look at that shine. It was shining so much I couldn't believe it was my hair. Oh, and my scalp was clean. I mean, I was so happy with the results. So if you have come this far watching this video, it may suggest that you've enjoyed. So go ahead and subscribe. I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet. But well, subscribe so that you don't miss such content in the future so there i'm showing you how it turned out my ends you can see clearly how they are yeah i love it and to actualize my goal of being consistent in youtube 
I'm going to start uploading videos every week on Mondays, hopefully at 1 p.m. So turn on the notification bell also for you to not miss wherever I upload. Thank you for watching and also.